Hello, Debt Free Degree Beloveds. This is a part of my newest series, and it's entitled, Dang, I Wish I Knew You When I Went to College. And the reason I entitle it that is because that is what I often hear. When people hear that, um, that's the response. When people hear that I help students go to, go to college fully debt-free with any degree, I can map any degree fully debt-free, then Everybody's like, I, I wish I knew you when. And so um, I have been on a quest to interview folks because I want to know what that process was um, and what what those um, what what the struggles were. And so um, Anita Prendergast, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being a part of this series. Um, uh, those of you that have been around the Patreon community for a while, you have seen Anita's video um, regarding her um, good mom coach and what an amazing program that is. But I also wanted to bring her back and just say, hey, uh, did you have student loan debt when you graduated? How did that impact you? How did that impact your children? Just tell me all the things. So with that, Anita Prendergast. Yes, I love this conversation. It is so important to have. And so, yes, I was one of those. I went to college and with all the student loans oh yes come out of state we'll give you the student loans don't worry everything will be fine so I did that I didn't I changed my major two or three times so I didn't do just the four years it took you know five years to get the, the bachelor's degree which I'm so thankful for I do love my whole um, college experience but then it was afterwards right mm -hmm. after I got graduated at the time this was in the, um, I graduated in the, the 80s. <laughs> and so at the time, they, they didn't really emphasize. They just said, okay, just postpone your payments. But we didn't see the impact that I didn't, they didn't show us the impact that that would have mm. on the loan. So, you know, I'm excited because almost 30 years later, now because of the pandemic relief, my student loan is forgiven, but it's not because I didn't pay it. I know, let's let's take time to like celebrate that because I like really almost cried. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And it's kind of vulnerable to talk about because you're, you, you know, you, you have this facade, you know, everything looks great. And, you know, why couldn't you pay your credit, your um student loan debt? But it's not that I paid what I borrowed probably two or three times over. It was that interest, yes. right? It was putting it off and saying, oh yeah, I'll just put it off and doing things that I love that didn't make a lot of money. So I started out in preschool. I love working with kids. Uh -huh. It didn't pay the bills. I had my family. I started a family, you know, so I had to put food on the table. So I postponed the, the credit, the um, student loan debt. You know, I got a whole other degree degree that I paid cash for as a massage therapist <laughs> because I said we're not going to be in debt you know I'm not taking out another student loan and then when I did have my kids I stressed it so much no student loans I'm still paying it's it's frustrating I can't get out of it so I stressed mm -hmm. it so much that my three kids none of them went to college they did not want to go they did not want that student loan debt which is not the effect that I wanted to have right but I just stressed it so much to them that I think I just, they just said, okay, we're not doing that because it's stressing mom out. Yes. But they did end up going, my two sons, they went to military and my daughter followed my footsteps as a massage therapist. So they do have higher education, but without the student loan debt. Yes, 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 yes. So, okay, let's let's begin with the end of mine. So the end is today, Anita, you currently owe how much in student loan debt? zero now but <laughs> okay that's that's where I want that's what I want people to start with because yeah, okay. people in this series are still they're still paying and so so I want people to understand that it is currently zero hallelujah um and of course Anita anything that you don't want to answer then please don't answer do you well did you need your bachelor's degree in order to become a massage therapist I did not need my bachelor's degree to become a massage therapist. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what, and I love, because I think that's a little bit of, um, cognitive dissonance or, or making some different decisions because for a lot of people, I think they do exactly what you did, which is while I was in school, I had a great time. I don't regret any of that. It's 
the pain for afterwards, but I think people are, are separating it, if that makes sense. And I think, I think as a society, we've done a really great job to say, Hey, don't you want to have fun for four or five years? Don't you want to do everything you want to do? Well, yeah, you're going to pay for it for 30 more years after that, but let's, let's focus on this fun and this enjoyment for these four or five years. And I think people are, are not tying the two together. And so in hindsight, was it, was the return on investment worth it for all the stress and uh, the challenge and um, what you perceive as a, as a um, if not a negative, an accidental impact on your kids that they didn't go to college? Like when you look back over that return on investment, was it worth it? That's actually difficult to answer. Um, I would say that, you know, I received my bachelor's degree in exercise science with the intention of going to um, to get a degree and to get a master's degree in physical therapy, which didn't happen. I started my family, so that didn't happen. And I didn't want to take out any more loans. <laughs> so, but with my... Um, bachelor's degree in exercise science, I do feel like it did allow me to make more in the profession that I was in. So I do believe without that, I would not have, you know, I was working at a preschool basically. And even in different jobs, they wanted you to have a degree and they uh -huh. would pay you more for that. Okay. So it didn't really matter what it was. <laughs> as long as it was a degree, things may have changed now, but that's how it was when I was, um, so I do see a benefit in that um, maybe I got paid more, but in the long run, since I was still paying the debt for so long mm -hmm. and I ended up going to a, actually getting an associate's degree in massage therapy. So it is an associate's So I did it backwards. I got my bachelor's and then an associate's and I paid cash for that. Uh -huh. And I'm like, this is how I should have done it. Okay. You know, in the beginning, it yeah. feels good to like, yeah able to start my career without having that debt and yes. so that is what I taught my daughter to do yes excellent 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 so uh a couple of things that you said in there that I really want to hammer home to our debt-free degree community is um while I do believe uh, that you can go and get your, like you got your associates in massage, that you didn't need a bachelor's in order to open up your massage um, business or to work for someone else. However, particularly in your case, Anita, I'm certain that all of those classes you had in exercise science make you a phenomenal massage therapist. And so that's a constant through line. So I don't want to lose sight of that. It would have been different if you would have been, you know, a degree in, you know, uh, political science or something. It might not have as much applicability. And so, you know, I don't want to lose sight of that. And also, what does it feel like, Anita, now that you don't no longer carry that student loan debt? What 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 bubbles up for you or what were you carrying that you didn't realize you were carrying? If you were, if 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 it's just like I was carrying it for 30 years, no big deal. It's, you know, deferred and paid off now and no big deal. I want you to be honest. Right. Well, first, let me say that you're right. Like, I I love that I did the exercise science. It is a through line, and it did allow me to choose massage therapy as a profession and be, you know, in niche and, and be um, good at it and love what I do. And, but um, now that I didn't realize the emotional toll it had on me until it was forgiven, because I literally just, like, it was just a, in, in a release. Like, I don't have that on my back anymore because I had just decided, okay, I'm just, I think I had maybe five more years to go paying, you know, whatever balance they said. And so, um, you know, so I saw an end in sight, which was, which was great, but I just decided, okay, that's just going to be a bill that I'll have for the next five years or whatever. And so when it was um, forgiven, it was a release. I didn't realize that um, there were some things that was holding back, such as um, a house loan. You know, my mm -hmm. husband and I, we couldn't really, it was always there, something that, you know, we had this thing. So, you know, house, home ownership. Um, some people I hear, they 
they delay getting married or delay having kids. I didn't do that, <laughs> uh-huh. which I'm glad because you know, I don't think that, you know, that should be, you know, and it shouldn't matter. But um, yeah, definitely the the financial part of it, it's getting um, home loans, you know, just stuff like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I, th- I think um, I don't want my community to miss out on the fact that Anita shared that she paid on this or carried this for decades. This was not a year or two. This was decades. And she just talked about the emotional toll. So there's a financial toll, but there is an emotional toll. There's a cognitive toll, as she said, like carrying it, this burden. And so, um, Anita, thank you for your transparency. Thank you for your bravery. Thank you for your willingness to share it with this community in hopes that uh, we can we can change the trajectory. Um, one of my favorite quotes from Dr. King, and it, and it really drives so much of what I do, is... Um, a movement that moves people is a revolt, but a, a social movement that moves people, that changes people and changes institutions is a revolution. And that's why I believe in the debt-free degree revolution is yeah. I want to completely alter that trajectory so that folks aren't having a phenomenal four or five years in college and then having decades where they're having to, you know, be under that toll of having to pay it back. So thank you for your, your transparency. I really, really appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. I hope it helps. Um, I hope it definitely helps others to, um, you know, really be intentional about being debt-free, having a debt-free degree. Can I just add one more thing? Please. Yeah. So when I um, started, you know, when I graduated high school, I did have a scholarship. I had a full scholarship to a school in Buffalo, New York. I'm from New York City, but it was too cold. <laughs> That's why I didn't take it. And so I said, I went to go to South Carolina, you know, with family, nice weather, and had a great time. But had I known today what I know, you know, then what I know now, yeah, I would have gone to Buffalo and put on my <laughs> put on my chopper, whatever it is, and gotten that debt free. Yes. Thank you, Anita, for sharing that too. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to reach through this camera and give you a big hug because <laughs> I appreciate you just sharing this with my community. I really, really do. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. The love revolution. Yes. The love revolution. revolution. <laughs> well, exactly. And it's, you know, under that umbrella of love revolution. I mean, let's 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 change people and institutions with love. And I talk yeah. about one way is love yourself enough to graduate fully debt free. And that's why, like, my jacket is hearts, which I love, but you'll see it has OPM on here, which is part of my triangle approach, and that is other people's money. So, hello, <laughs> there's 46 billion with a B, 46 billion dollars in grants and scholarships out there. And so, and Anita just talked about one that she had, you know, she had the opportunity and she said no to that for fun and warm weather and three decades worth of payments. And so, you know, there's, there's some trade-off and that's, you know, that's the ROI. Yes. 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 All right. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. How much fun. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.